If your machine shop has already assembled your heads and you don't want to have to take them apart, you'll need to get a pair of solid lifters from your local parts store. You should mark them to set them apart from your other lifters. When rotating an engine by hand, there's no oil pressure. Stock valve springs are very strong and when the cam starts to push up on the lifter, the plunger inside a hydraulic lifter would push down inside the lifter body. This is because there's no oil pressure built up inside the lifter to push it up. A solid lifter won't allow the push rod to sink into the lifter body. As the solid lifter begins to come up, even with no oil pressure, it'll overcome the strength of the stock valve spring and make the valve in the head open all the way. If you need to build one of your heads with the stock springs for the test, pull the correct intake and exhaust valves out of the organizer tray for the number one cylinder head. Make sure the valves have some lubricant on the stems, put on any spring shims if you have them, and then the spring and retainer. Most likely, now you're either going to have new springs or shims that'll make the old springs tighter. So squeezing the valve spring compressor by hand right now might feel a little bit tougher. You need to squish the spring far enough to be able to slip in the keepers. Jiggle the compressor a little bit if you have to, but be careful. If you jiggle too far, the compressor could slip off and the spring would go shooting across the room might pop you in the eye. We recommend you wear safety glasses when you look at the valve tip to fit the keepers in. If you can leave a hand on the keepers to prevent them from falling while you release the tension on the compressor, it'll help. Now your cylinder head is ready for the test. Have your pair of solid lifters nearby.